Live from our studios at One Television Plaza, this is WTAP News at 6. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Phyllis Smith. New tonight, the Parkersburg Police Department arrested two men they claim were trying to solicit a minor. The two men involved were 55-year-old James Wiggins of Dawsonville, Georgia, and 33-year-old Christopher Payton of Marietta, Ohio. Both men were attempting to solicit a minor for sex that they believe they were messaging a 15-year-old girl, but was actually a Parkersburg police investigator on social media. Wiggins and Peyton both discussed sexual activities in the messages and sent explicit images and videos. Peyton has been arraigned in Wood County Magistrate Court with a bond set at $35,000. Wiggins is a deputy county coroner with Dawson County, Georgia Coroner's Office and was employed at a local funeral home. The investigator with Parkersburg PD worked with the Georgia Bureau of Investigations to arrest Wiggins. He is set to receive a bond later tonight. Turning to the weather, a much colder day than yesterday. Meteorologist Kirk Greenfield joins us now with the first look at your forecast. Kirk? We're a good 20 degrees colder than we were yesterday as the uh, rain showers came through and gusty winds. The Highmark West Virginia Sky Camp says we're at 36 right now. It feels like 29 due to the winds out of the west at 9 miles per hour. Relative humidity is 62% and the pressure 30.14 inches continues to rise, but we don't have clear skies. As we look at the evening planner, we expect to drop down to close to freezing by midnight. But if there is any snow, it'll just be slight flurries and the ground is just too warm to uh, allow it to survive. As we get past midnight, that may change a little bit, but I'm not in anticipating any accumulations. We'll talk about when we might see snow when I return. Back to you. Thank you, Kirk. We had a chance to sit down with Ohio Governor Mike DeWine, who was re-elected in the fall for his second and final term. Governor DeWine discussed his top priorities for 2023. DeWine says they are in the process of preparing the budget that will be sent to the General Assembly in 10 days. He describes the budget as an outline of where they think Ohio needs to go and what the state's challenges are. He says the most important thing is to invest in the people of Ohio. And the budget I'm going to submit to the General Assembly uh, will have a lot of focus on education, a lot of focus on, on the mental health problem. DeWine also talked about the issues that impact the Mid-Ohio Valley. We will have more on those topics next week. New tonight, a trucking company and a driver are being sued over a West Virginia highway spill that sent a chemical into a creek. This is video from the wreck that happened back in August. The Kanawha County Commission says it filed suit over the August spill that dumped 3,000 gallons of the material into Paint Creek tributary, killing more than 30,000 fish. The lawsuit, which also names the chemicals manufacturer, says a remediation plan seeks a remediation plan within 10 days. The statement says the trucking company had proposed a monitoring and containment plan that the commission deemed as insufficient. The spill happened on the West Virginia Turnpike. The chemical involved is commonly used in cleaning detergents. The West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection is providing recycling grants to many groups across the state. Of the 29 recipients across the state, five of them are in Wood County as part of the Rehabilitation Environmental Action Plan. Some of these include Habitat for Humanity of the Mid-Ohio Valley, Latrobe Street Mission, and the City of Parkersburg. Officials with Habitat for Humanity say they are thankful for this grant opportunity that will continue to improve its nonprofit. For us, receiving the award is incredibly helpful because it helps build our efficiency and our effectiveness and helps us more quickly process. You can go to WTAP.com for more information on how much the grants were to these groups in Wood County and what will be done with the money. Still ahead, the West Virginia Senate is advancing legislation to reform unemployment benefits in West Virginia. A much colder day Friday in the Mid-Ohio Valley, resulting in snow flurries heading into the weekend. That's next.
We shared with you the story of Buddy last week. He is the dog who had been at Crazy Bone Pet Spa for months after his owner passed away. Buddy found a new owner after our story aired, and Monday, Buddy was able to go to his new forever home. Alexa Griffey was at the spa and talked with his new family for this week's This Is Home feature. That's right, Phyllis. Crazy Bone Pet Spa had been taking care of seven-year-old Buddy for over three months. The owners recently asked the community for help in finding him a new permanent home. Owner Brett Lyons says after we shared the story, several people reached out about Buddy, including Teresa and Gary Gould. Lyons says the staff has gotten close to Buddy and is sad to see him leave, but they're happy to know that he's going to a home with a loving family. This is Home, sponsored by Riverview Credit Union. I think we'll be happy. It was a bittersweet goodbye at Crazy Bone on Monday as the staff handed the leash over to Buddy's new owners. He is going to a very good home. His new parents love him already. Gary and Teresa Gould have had many dogs over the years and say they already know Buddy is the perfect addition to their family. Buddy's owner, Mike Cottrell, passed away after dropping Buddy off at Crazy Bone back in October. Cottrell had been dealing with some health issues. We lost our dear lab after 15 years last summer, so we're ready for another dog. Brett Lyons, the owner of Crazy Bone Pet Spa, says a lot of people showed interest in Buddy, and they even received several donations for his care. And all those donations we will be sending along with him to his new vet, which will help pay for his medicine in the future. Seven-year-old Buddy has diabetes and arthritis, needing insulin shots and regular vet visits. Teresa says this didn't make them want Buddy any less. It makes me uh, more mindful of his care, but I'm a nurse and my daughter's a nurse and we're kind of accustomed to injections from time to time, so I... We we have no issues with this. The Goulds say they have 14 acres of land, perfect for any dog, and already have a great routine that'll help Buddy stay healthy. We'll take a walk every morning up the road, and then we'll pick up in, um, another dog, my daughter's dog, to take a walk, and we'll walk back down the road. And, and then they take a ride after that, we take almost a every day. Teresa says she's thankful for the staff at Crazy Bone. It feels wonderful, and it's especially wonderful when we've seen all the wonderful care that he's had. It's a good feeling. Yes. The Goulds say this isn't a goodbye, but a see you later. We will be back for shampoo from time to time, and we'll get to see everybody, and I hope he progresses as much as he's progressed from the time you've had him. So we're excited, and I want to do everything properly, so you'll be happy when you see him again. I think it's safe to say Buddy won't be having a rough life with the Golds. And if you want to see Buddy's original story, you can go over to our web channel, WTAP.com. Back to you, Phyllis. Thank you, Alexa. It's great to hear there is a happy ending. Still ahead, two Marietta High School students signed to college today. Evan Lasik is going to have more with the students coming up after the break. We've got a lot of great games. I still can't believe we are flying through it. It is freezing outside, by the way. It is. I have to bundle up. I know. All these games right now, I always say I'm so happy we are shooting basketball now, going inside those warm gymnasiums. I can't even imagine being out on the fields right now. Yes, that's a lot better. And you said there's a big game tomorrow with the Giants and the yeah, Eagles. Philadelphia. Good job, Phyllis. I'm going to make you a sports reporter. <laughs> are you proud of me? <laughs> I'm very proud of you. But my Philadelphia Eagles are playing the Giants. It is going to be a lot of fun this weekend. Thank you, Evan. When we come back, Kirk Heswin, let's look at the weather. You can download the free Pinpoint Weather app from WTAP and get all the weather information downloaded right to your phone. Tonight, we're going to see temperatures that will drop to about freezing by midnight, but no serious snow accumulation. Thank you, Kirk. That's all the time we have for tonight. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back tonight at 11.